Alright, so I'm here on my favorite, one of my favorite mini games, and that is Hide and Seek. So, on Hide and Seek, you are a designated work, uh, block, like I'm a workbench, and you have to go and hide from the Seeker, who is a dude that tries to kill you. Now, one of the most important parts of this is to try to blend in with your environment. So as you can see, this anvil is going to try to hide in there. Well, I'm not going to join him. I'm going to go, and I found a great hiding spot in an earlier game around here. I'm going to go hide in there. You just need to do a little jumping. Whoa. I am lagging. What is going on here? Hey. Yeah. Hey. Is that not... Is that a person up there? It probably was. Well... I'm gonna just jump in here, and this is a really safe spot, I think. I don't know, I've never used it before. This will be interesting for me. Well, while we're sitting here, um, I guess we can talk about this a little bit. So, I am a crafting table. Now, I do not look like this. Right now, I look like a regular crafting table sitting up here in this corner. But to everybody else, to everybody else, I look like a crafting table. We're right there. Right below me. On this wool here. But to me, I'm I'm me. So this is one of my favorite games because even though it can get kind of boring when you're just sitting here, uh a lot of interesting things tend to happen sometimes. Uh for instance, this is a leaf block who decides that he wants to hide in this tree. Now, of course, I don't know why leaf blocks would be black and white, but okay. So over there you can see the seekers who are looking for the hiders. They're looking for me, my hider. They see a crafting table out there. There's a fence cobblestone wall fighting that seeker out there. They're very creative maps too. I find these interesting. There's all sorts of nooks and crannies such as this one. You can go and hide in. So I I really enjoy this game. You guys should try it. Um, the IP address is in the description below. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna sit here, be really quiet. So this sword you get after a while, you can use this to uh, defend yourself in the event that a seeker finds you. Or, as some people like to do, sometimes I do too, is you can attack a seeker. You just walk up to him and start attacking him. Now, I don't suggest you do that on your own if you're going to try it because the seeker has a diamond sword and he are not wearing any armor and he has a full suit of iron armor. Like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, allergies. Um you can see he has full iron armor and a diamond sword. Now none of it's enchanted but I just fell out of my tree. I need to get back in my tree. Get back in the 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 tree. Uh, it's a leaf block right there. You can tell if it's a player because you can't stand on it. Which I find really annoying. Uh, okay. We're good. Here comes those seekers out there. Looking for how did he get out there? I want to know that. There's a seeker down there. Now we are not solid because this thing is not got an enchanty little thingy. Let's see. Now that means we're solid. It'll also tell you, but this is a good indication that you are well hidden. 
So I don't think they're going to find me this round because I'm all the way up here. Let's, let's move around a bit. See you. Yeah. Hey, hey, you. You. Gold. Goldie. Down there. Goldie, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on, Goldie. Go there. Come on. Hey, Goldie. Is that where I am? Is that where I'm hidden? It's a really bad place to be hidden. Well, so now that there's less than 10 seconds left, I'm just gonna run out there. Hey, hey, Goldie. Hey, hey Goldie. 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 Hey, Gold Boy. Hey, hey, look behind you. Hey, hey. <laughs> so that was a round of hide and seek. I think next time I'm gonna be more aggressive and try to be a. Maybe I'll just get myself killed and be a seeker. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yes, yes, it would be. All right, so we're back for another round of hide and seek. So I'm going to get myself killed this round, at the very beginning, and we're gonna go seek out some players. I love your costume. Alright, so, I know it says I'm a redstone lamp block, and actually it's not a very good hiding outfit. So I'm just going to wait for the seeker, and I'm going to attack him. And he's probably going to kill me. It looks like this melon wants to attack with me. Hey melon. Melon, melon. And where is he? Oh, 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 he's invisible. Well, he was invisible. That's not cool. But now as you can see, we have I am a seeker now because I have my iron armor and my diamond sword. And hello, how's it going? We're here because we're going to kill some blocks. That's right, as soon as you die, you must turn against your own kind and kill them. Now I know several popular hiding spots. I, I don't know if they're being used right now. Like that one is a very common one. I used something similar in the in a round that I tried to record, but it broke. It didn't work. So, yeah. so I'm checking all the rooms for something that looks unusual. Now most people would look at this. Ah, look, look at that. That's a melon. Melon's not supposed to be in there. This is what it's supposed to look like if there's a melon or something else in there. He's not supposed to be there. So, I... I, I don't think I'd want to sleep in a room full of melons. That's just me. Alright. Let's look for something suspicious. I'm not finding... Oh. Now I happen to know from early rounds, I think. Yep. I knew it. That's where I hid last time as a wood block. And as it turns out, because I knew that... Whoa! Someone's getting attacked. I'm lagging because of it. Now this is a much more... This is a little more fun than just sitting around and waiting. Let's go to the other side and see if we can find anybody. So, is this fake? Nope. Uh, is this fake? Nope. Oh, one of these fire pots is fake. What's that? Maybe not. What's going on in here? Let me get all a racket. So, Blocks make a specific sound when you hit them. Oh, like that. Oh, 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 I'm getting attacked. I'm getting attacked. Kill. Ah. Ooh. Are you real? That was an angry youth box. Yeah. So, let's go outside. Now, I know flower pots like to hide out here because they look like flowers if they're in the grass. And there's always a block or two in these trees over here. So I'm going to jump inside of these trees. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, I missed. Wow. 
know then. Why am I not jumping in there? Only five hiders left. Generally, the hiders will win. But on a few rare circumstances, you'll have a secret win. And when I say rare, I mean rare. I've been playing this for a long time, and I think I've only had three secret wins out of the hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of hider wins. And I think this one's going to be a hider win because. We're down to about a minute, and we haven't found enough hider. If we had one hider, I'd maybe be a little more optimistic about it, but there's only one hider left, but um, I found some of this Gosh. Anybody in here? Where to be in there? Uh, I don't know where they are anymore. Roses. Yep. I don't know where anybody is anymore. I don't have any ideas and I'm just running around. I'd like to live here though. This is a really nice looking neighborhood. Because there's no neighbors. You want in this hole? Well, that was a fun game. So that's basically all hide and seek is. But I find it a very entertaining game. And if you're wondering why there's no one in here, I think what just happened. Oh well. Silent Hub is something that you do to make your s FPS better. So, yeah. Now, there are tons of mini games here. I hope to do videos on all of them. The ones that at least are open. I don't think Paintball is open yet. No. But, yeah. So, that was Hide and Seek. And I think my next video will probably be on Splag. That's a fun game. It's something new to me. But yeah.